Diane in Denmark here. La, la, la. It is Thursday, great, great, great. Uh, Thursday or Little Friday as we call it here in Denmark. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing for Little Friday at the end of this video. But anyway, uh, let's get into things. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Uh, I'm feeling uh, good and ready to go. I had a, a breakfast uh, skinny dip with Vivica this morning. We, we ate our breakfast down there. So if you're, and I've kind of got a bit of swim here going on. There was a lot of uh, waves. I, and I always think it's a bit silly. You know, I put surf spray uh, in my hair, but actually I get a lot of it from the sea air. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm dressed to shoes. There we are, dook dook, as I move further back. And I'm still getting questions about uh, the fly lady thing of getting dressed to shoes and especially shoes in the house. Okay, listen up. In Scandinavia, we don't wear outdoor shoes inside the house. Uh, that, that's a no-no. You, you, you know, you're tracking in all the dirt and dust and uh, stuff from the garden. In Scandinavia, we take off our shoes when we come indoors, like, like many other countries. Now, you, you may be different where you are, you, you do your own thing. In Scandinavia, when we come in the door, we take off our shoes and either um, people will go barefoot or they'll have uh, socks on. Um, when you go and visit people, there's often a basket of extra woolly socks at the door or even provide slippers. You've seen that in my videos before. Uh, I, I, I choose, you know, especially for doing my fly lady routines during the day, I need a lot of arch support. I have special insoles uh, in my shoes. Uh, to stop me getting kind of uh, back pain. And what I choose for when I'm working here at home, we've got a three story house, is I've got an old pair, let me see if I can just ooh, go like that. Uh, these are an old pair of um, Nike mesh running shoes. Now I, I buy, I, I wear Nike mesh running shoes when I'm out and about. And I buy a new pair every year. And the old pair, what I do is I put them in uh, the washing machine on a cool wash. Don't, don't do them on hot because it'll all, the glue will melt. And that's what I use for um, doing my stuff around the house. And as I said, it's got space for my uh, orthopedic insoles. You may be different, and I'm not saying that you have to wear uh, shoes or you know indoor shoes all the time, but if, if the fly lady system isn't working for you and you're not getting dressed to shoes, you know, uh, getting dressed as if you were, you know, had somewhere to, to be, maybe you want to look at that. Anyway, uh, I, I wanted to check in with today. This is a just for fun video. We are now kind of, uh, my kids are, one is back to school, one is almost back to school. Uh, everybody in Denmark is getting back into activities. We're getting ready for the autumn season. And uh, the newspapers and magazines and uh, YouTube videos are already full of those, you know, tips on how to get started and menu planning. And, you know, if you buy this gadget, uh, you will make all your meals for you. And I, I wanted to give you a little uh, rundown today of three and a trois of my favourite kitchen helpers. Now, these are, are items that I use all the time, which make life easier for me. They're, they're my little kitchen helpers. So anyway, let, let me just uh, swing it around. I'll start with the first one. It's not a sexy, it's not a sexy item, but it's a, it's a lifesaver. So just hold on. Okay, here we are. As I said, it's not, not a sexy one. It's a lifesaver. Coffee machine. Uh, if you see me posting on Instagram every day, you know I do a shiny sink post uh, when, once I finish my evening routine. You'll know that I set up our coffee for the next day. And for us, it's essential that our coffee machine has a timer on it. So I can go to bed knowing that oh, when I wake up and come down in the morning, there's fresh coffee waiting for us. Uh, we used to have one of the, um, or we also had one of the ones, you know, with the capsules, but I found it's too much waste, all the plastic and aluminium and stuff. Uh, so, and actually I prefer a, a big cup of this type of coffee. If, I, if I'm looking for, you know, a small uh, cup of espresso, let me just, Turn you around again. Uh, then I'll use this one, which is a stovetop one. Uh, you know, one of the um, one of the Italian ones. My, my friend Eva, who's from uh, Luca or Segromino, if you, if you know the Luca area, uh, she taught me many years ago how to make proper uh, Italian coffee and how how to do it in here. So anyway, if I'm looking for a quick cup of espresso in the afternoon, that's one I use. But anyway, the the, the main one is our. Um, our coffee machine with a timer, but let, let's go on to the ones that you're probably more interested in, the ones for, uh, which are actually going to make it easier for you to, to get your menus done for the family. Okay, here we go. Now, this is by and far 
one of the kitchen gadgets that I have been using consistently for years and years. It's a rice cooker. Oh, hold on, let, let me just close the, the window because I can hear there's a wee bit of noise from outside. Uh, this is actually my second rice cooker. The first one, I kind of used it so much that the, um, the lettering kind of rubbed off. And I now have it over, it's a slightly smaller one, and I have it in our uh, Swedish summer house because I use it over there. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, the rice cookers come in all different shapes, sizes. This is a fairly um, cheap one. I, I always buy mine in France for some reason via Amazon in France. Um, so the instructions are in French. I, I speak French, I used to work in French, so, so that's fine for me. But the, the reason that I love the rice cooker, especially um, the, the more modern ones with the, the lids that you can really seal in, because in the in very early days I had one of the ones just with the little glass lid, but it would kind of, you know, rattle about and make a noise. Um, this one, uh, we use it three times a week, four times a week. Um, it's got the, and listen, I'm not doing any links here, you know, I, I don't um, do sponsorship or anything like that. This is just a, hopefully a wee bit of inspiration for you if you've been looking for one. And um, the, the reason I like this one is it's got the um, non-stick uh, inside bowl, so it's really easy to clean. And it also comes with a wee trivet so you can um, steam vegetables on the top. So, and what I use this for is it's, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I put in like two measures of rice, fill it up with the corresponding amount of water, that there's little marks inside the bowl, um, put down the lid, put on the program and Bob's your uncle, your, your rice or your bulgur or your quinoa or your couscous, whatever it is, it's ready in about 15, 20 minutes. And then it will go over to the keep warm function. And that's what I love about it. Often if I am uh, going out in the evening and I'm leaving food for the family, I can leave something in the crock pot or the instant pot and something in the rice cooker. And then you can just come and, and serve themselves. Uh, and as I said, it comes with a wee basket. So also you can do, you know, chop up some carrots or courgette, put that in the top. So all kind of, uh, you've got your rice cooking, the vegetables steaming, and then, you know, as I said, Bob's your uncle, really, really easy dinner. Uh, and I've been using one of these rice cookers for like 20 years. Oh, it's more, th probably 30 years now. As I said, I started off with one of the, the basic ones when I lived in Luxembourg. Uh, and then I changed over to the electronic ones. And, they're, they're, and for, for me, the, this is the, the implement that I use most because we're having, as I said, you know, rice or quinoa, uh, you, you can't even cook pasta in it, but don't tell the Italians. Um, and also you can do things like scrambled eggs and if you've got, if you're doing a, a lot of scrambled eggs, say for, if you've got the family coming for uh, breakfast or, you know, for Christmas breakfast, you can put a lot of scrambled eggs here and it will just kind of, um, you can put it on a low setting and it will cook quite nice itself. So that's number two. And then let's get on to number three. Oh, and one more thing about the uh, rice cooker. If you get kind of bored with everyday rice, quinoa, bulgur, whatever you're doing, you can also uh, easily add in something like, uh, you know, coconut milk if you're doing coconut rice or uh, a, a can of uh, tin tomatoes to do tomato rice. So you can easily change things up with it. Anyway, let's go on to number three. Okay, and the last one, uh, at least for today, and I may do uh, more after this video, is the Instant Pot. Now, Instant Pots became really popular, what, like two, three years ago, and I saw all the reviews and I saw all the, the hype about it, and I, I really wasn't convinced until, I think I got mine two years ago. I think it was when my son was away in the States during the year of American High School. But I think I thought it'll be something to, uh, to take my thoughts somewhere else. Anyway, I, I got it and I was like, like many people, you, you may be the same, you know, you, you get the pot and then you're like, <gasps> but you know, how do I work this thing? There's an awful lot of different settings. But you know, the, the only way is to, you know, put one foot in front of the other and just like dive in there and try it. Uh, I've, I found that I actually really like the Instant Pot mainly for two things. Um, the pressure cooker function is fantastic. Now, 
I have never owned a pressure cooker. I've mentioned before my mum had a pressure cooker. My mum uh, worked uh, when, when we were kids and she was, uh, you know, she had a lot going on and she would come home, you know, put dinner in the pressure cooker and within half an hour dinner could be on the table. But the only thing was uh, she had one of the old, you know, the old pressure cookers, not, not the digital ones, not ele electronic or electrical. And, you know, uh, when, when she let off the pressure, <gasps> it was that wee! noise and you felt like the roof was going to come off and my, my brother and I were always kind of hiding underneath the, the kitchen table. Uh, but but these, these ones to do, there's no need to be scared of it. Um, they're really easy to use and I find that I really enjoy using it for things like uh, soups and uh, I've, I've, I've done um, a few, uh, quite a few recipes. I've got a whole list, a whole playlist of really easy tried and trusted recipes. My mum's uh, Scottish stuff uh, and a lot of Danish recipes. I'll, I'll put the link up there and I'll, I'll put a link in the video information. Uh, but things like my mum's minestrone soup. Mum always makes her minestrone soup in the pressure cooker. Uh, my mum's stew, Scottish stew, super simple. And I've, I've made a video about that too. And I like it for anything, uh, and, and, you know, soup, stews, any of that really warming um, win winter stuff. And I also, um, let me just show you, it, it, the, the instant pot isn't, uh, comes with stainless steel inner pot. You can get extra pots for it, but I'm, I'm not kind of so in love with that that I'm going to buy the Teflon coating one, uh, at least at the moment. We shall see. Uh, and I found it, it's really useful to have a little trivet. It comes with, let me just grab it, it comes with a small trivet for when you're uh, putting things in, uh, if you're doing a pot and pot method. If you don't know what it is, go, go, go and Google it. Um, but I found that also for cooking uh, vegetables on top of, for example, stew, uh, one of these small, I don't know what you call them, uh, basket steamers. And this is one from uh, Ikea, which I really like. It's just the right size for the Instant Pot. But this, is, um, this has been the only thing that I've bought extra for it. And actually I had one of these uh, anyway, because these go into any kind of saucepan that you're using. So and, and I really like the pressure cooker function for that. Uh, and I like the crock pot function on it, you know, the slow cooker function. Because with, the, with it being stainless steel and you're also being able to sauté on it, you know, do things really high heat to begin with. You know when you're doing something in the crock pot, it'll maybe say, you know, brown the meat and then transfer to the crock pot. There's no needing to transfer stuff here because you can do it on high heat and then you can turn it over and go down to the crock pot function, the slow cooker function, and then leave it on the rest of the day. And the other uh, advantage also I find is that you know, say, say you make up your, your dish and there's still leftovers, you can happily take this out, you know, uh, put it in the fridge overnight and then the next day you can put it in and do it on a hot heat, a, a reheat, uh, you know, a, a sauté function to get it cooked through hot again. So, so that's another advantage of it. Um, and also my, uh, my daughter, she loves it for making pinhead oatmeal, you know, really um, steel cut oats uh, as porridge and we do it in the pot and pot method. I've, I've also made a video about that and it's on the playlist somewhere. So I, I use, uh, I, I like the two functions. Uh, it's got different functions um, like making yogurt. We, we tried that once and it was like, oh yeah, we're not going to make yogurt. <laughs> Haven't used that again. Uh, and also for boiling eggs, if you've got a lot of boiled eggs that you need to prepare, uh, you can do that and put, put them on a wee trivet thing. Um, and have I missed anything? But a anything, you know, like um, chilies and uh, anything to do with the lentils and chickpeas, this is fabulous for that. And the, one of the things that I also like about it is that, you know, you can kind of clamp it shut and also you can kind of, uh, you know, take that and you can take it with you. And you may have seen when we have our close up parties that I have taken, you'll see in some of the videos, I've taken uh, the instant pot full of chili to one of the other ladies' houses and somebody else has brought rice. And so it, it's, um, it, it, all, all in all, and I 
have been really pleased with it. And probably going forward uh, this autumn, I'll see if I can come up with some new ways to use it. So anyway, on that note, oh, hold on, let me just turn you around for one last thing. Yeah, just a wee couple of reminders. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, which in Fly Lady Land is um, Erin Day. You know, just, it, it doesn't need to be Thursday, but just think about all the things that you need to do when you are outside the house. Like, do you have to post a parcel? Um, do you have to go grocery shopping? You know, when, when, you're at, when you're out doing your grocery shop, maybe you can stop by the chemist and pick up any prescriptions. Maybe you need to hand and dry cleaning, anything like that. Uh, my errands are actually up to date because I dropped off a parcel when I was heading down for a swim the other day. We've got parcel boxes here. So I, I just fit that in when I can. And my grocery shop, I actually got it delivered this week. Uh, you know, we, we came back from Japan last week and I'm making it very easy on myself. And I decided to go for uh, an online grocery delivery because they had a lot of good offers on. So I kind of stocked up with stuff. So, so mine is done. Uh, also, at the beginning of the week, I told you we're in zone three uh, for Fly Lady cleaning. Uh, and I didn't make, make a video of me cleaning this week. I've got plenty of uh, cleaning videos if you need that. But just to tell you what I've done since uh, that video on Monday. Uh, on Monday, I uh, did the cobwebs which were up in, in the corners. Um, you know, I used my feather duster and a stick. And, and, and I gave a detailed vacuum because I was doing my weekly home blessing her anyway. Uh, and I also did the mirrors and the windows and the window sills. And that's part of my weekly home blessing her. So that was done. Um, and I told you that I changed over the mat, the bath mat um, and I looked through towels to see if there was anything to declutter and I went to the outside of the bath uh, the next day when, when, I, when, I, when I have towels which are going in the wash I use them to, to do a quick uh, wipe of the floor or around the bath or inside the bath it may make sense to me it's, it's, it's faster and they're, they're going into the hot wash anyway um, oh, and I also dusted off the flat surfaces, also with an old towel that was going to wash. Uh, and I washed our wee uh, bathroom bin, you know, the one where the, we, we put our uh, rubbish, and I watered the plants. So go me. Uh, and also the kids, they tidied out their little cubby um, holes in the bathroom, and went through their stuff and got it reorganised. So they're kind of also ready for going back to school and it's easy in the morning for them getting, uh, you know, doing their stuff. Uh, and finally, it's little third. Uh, sorry, it's little Friday here in Denmark. Little Friday is the name that we have for Thursday. You know, in Danes we're big into hygge. We're always looking forward to things. It's the, all that kind of planning, looking forward to stuff. And I told you, uh, I'm trying to keep the summer going as long as possible. And I'm meeting up with my friend Anne Marie tonight. And Anne Marie is my friend who's the architect. Um, you've seen her in a video before. Uh, and we're going to a circus. Now, we're not going to an animal circus. And I don't like animal circuses and I don't like clowns. Uh, but we have a really fantastic circus here in our area, which is called Circus Nemo. And it's like Danish satire and also they have artists from, from around the world. And, and it takes place uh, very close to us, right, right where I uh, go from a swim in the morning. And you may have seen the, the big tent in some of my pictures. Um, so anyway, we're, we're going to see that tonight, so I'm really looking forward to going out with her. And as I said, it, we call Thursday Little Friday, it's a kind of, uh, okay, the weekend has not quite started yet, but we're going being good to ourselves and letting our hair down, letting it all hang out. So anyway, I hope you have a fantastic uh, Little Friday, and I shall see you around on Instagram. And all I've got left to say is, ra ra ra, live long and prosper, may the Danish food be with you. I had the candles lit, actually the sun has come out again, so it's all good. Uh, and I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.